you ever found yourself in the middle of a hotel room caught in a 50-50 guard? Probably not, but just in case, I want to help you out and show you guys a, a technique. Actually, I'm not going to show it. This man right here is going to show it. It's Ryan Dixon, guys. Uh, undefeated mixed martial arts, 11-0 overall, 5-0 pro. And he's fighting on the weekend. We're here in Montreal. We're here in Quebec, sorry. We're south of Montreal. In a, in a city that I can't pronounce the name uh, correctly, so I won't even try. But uh, Ryan will be fighting on Saturday in the Challenge MMA event. So um, he's on weight now, so we're weighing in tomorrow. But right now he's uh, going to show you guys a technique that he's been using on uh, many people from the 50-50 guard. So Ryan, take it over, brother. Yeah, this is a move that, that I've been playing a lot of lately. It's extremely hard to defend because if you... If you don't defend the original attack, obviously you're going to get submitted. So a lot of people to defend the original attack, which will, which is the heel hook, the initial the way to defend it sets me right up for the move that I'm going to do. Okay, so first of all, I want my, the posture I like to do is feet together, and I want to lean a bit to the outside because from here I've got heel hooks, I've got straight ankle locks, I've got other things that will be shown later, I guess, but. Uh, so what Jeff's going to do now is Jeff's going to triangle his legs. Okay, so now I can't heel hook him, and now I can't footlock him on this side. So what I'm going to do is with this hand, I'm going to reach under his, his Achilles, like right, right behind his heel. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up, bringing it on my shoulder. I'm going to grab with my, with my right hand, I'm going to grab on the outside of his, of his uh, calf, and I'm going to pull it over on top of my shin. So now he can't, you'll see why I do this later, um, and I'll explain it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to force it all the way over to this side. So now he's crossed. For MMA, there's a small chance, but a lot of the time he's too, I'm too low for him to heel hook me. He can't quite heel hook me. So I, want, I like to pull my leg out when I do this. So I'm here, I under, pull my leg, and I cross. I like to hold this so that they can't pull, and, and if he tries to turn, he's stuck. So now I can't, I've neutralized the heel hook threat. He can't foot lock this one. I'm just right here. And now I'm going to reach under. Okay, I'm going to reach under with this one. Use the blade of my wrist. And I'm going to make sure the high part of his foot, right where his toes would start, is under my armpits. If I'm too low, it's just pain. Guys are going to tough it out. If I'm here, it can actually break his foot. So I'm going to hold here until I lock this in. Once I'm here, I can finish. As you see, because my shin is here, if he tries to kick the boot and come straighter, it doesn't matter, he can't. If he tries to pull away, he can't. Okay, so when I'm here, I fall back, and I got the straight ankle lock. How's the, how's the grip on the hands? Which, which way do you like so to grip the hands? So I like to grip, I put the outside hand deep through, and then my, 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 my forearm is right under the back of his foot. And then I just grip my hands like this. And I'm pinching my knees so that it's straight. Because if I'm just like this, he might be able to turn his leg to low percentage that he will. But to keep it super tight, I pinch my knees together, foot on foot. And then I fall back. And he's tapping. All right, guys. So that's a cool foot lock because not only does it, it hurt, it feels like something's going to break. So many times with foot locks, like Ryan was saying, people don't tap because they're just pain. Especially in a fight. They'll tap in the gym, but many times they won't tap. Uh, in a tournament or they won't tap in a fight, especially when money's involved. So uh, when something's going to break though, people uh, tend to tap out a little bit uh, a little bit quicker. So um, thanks Ryan, great technique. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, I'm going to show a technique. And then on Saturday, we're going to have the cameraman extraordinaire, that the guy who is behind that right now, Dave Hale, <laughs> showing a technique. And he won't even oh, tell me what geez. technique it is, so it's going to be that good. So guys, we've got three techniques uh, this weekend. And uh, while we're here in Quebec at uh, the Challenge MMA, so uh, that's about it for tonight.